Hey everybody, so it's Calgary Flames time now with our season previews. Um, getting near the end here as we get closer and closer to the start of the regular season. But uh, Calgary missed the playoffs last year. Disappointingly missed the playoffs last year. Um, they're, they're a team that really thinks that they should be a playoff team. And when you look at their roster, they probably should be. They have a very talented roster. And, and they're a team that you want to see in the postseason and competing in the postseason. Not a team that miss, is you know consistently out of the playoffs and missing. They have too much talent to not be a playoff team on a regular basis. So for this season, it's going to be tough. Um, you have San Jose, Vegas, LA, who are you know really good teams in the um, Pacific. And then you've got Calgary, Edmonton, and uh, Anaheim really f all fighting for only one or two playoff spots. So um, it's going to be an interesting year in the Pacific Division just because I think a lot of those teams are so much are so competitive and close to each other. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out of it in the playoffs and in a playoff spot and who comes out of it disappointed like Calgary was last season. So this is, a, I would say that Calgary this year definitely has a chance to make the playoffs and probably should make the playoffs, but there's also a strong chance that they don't make it. If Edmonton has a good year, then maybe that knocks Calgary out. If Anaheim ends up better than I think they're going to be, maybe that knocks Calgary out. So um, it's going to be an interesting year for the Flames. It's going to be a hard-fought year for the Flames. Um, nothing is going to come easy to them. So if they... If they want to be a playoff team and want to get into the postseason, they're going to really have to have a good season. So let's look at their lineup and see what the Calgary is working with here and uh, see what we've got. Top line, Johnny Goodrow, Sean Monahan, and uh, Lindholm coming over from Carolina. Second line, Kachuk, Backlund, and Neal. Um, Neal, one of their big free agent signings. Third line, Frolik, Ryan, and Zarnik. And then this fourth line, which um, has been together a lot this preseason and have looked really, really good together. Sam Bennett, Mark Jankowski, and Garnet Hathaway. I love that line. Um, if, if they, I hope they play together in the regular season because they've looked pretty good in the, together in the preseason, and I would love to see them kept together. The game that I watched them against the Bruins in, um, on NBCSN, the China game, this past week, this that line was really really good really really physical um, really uh, a, a, a line that I would love to see together in the regular season on the back end Mark Giordano and TJ Brody's your top pair with Noah Hannafin and Travis Hamannick your second pair and then Brett Kulak and Mark, Mark Stone rounding out the decor with Mike Smith and Nat and David Riddich backing him up your extra forwards are Curtis Lazar and Alan Quine, and then Dalton Prout is your seventh defenseman. Okay, so where to start here? Might as well start with the goaltending. Mike Smith. Oh boy, Mike Smith. I like Mike Smith. I think he can be a very good goaltender. He cannot stay healthy, and he needs to stay healthy. If if Caroline, uh, Caroline, if Calgary is going to go to the playoffs, Mike Smith has got to stay healthy for at least a majority of this season. He needs to play 55, 60 games this year for them to go to the playoffs. If he doesn't, this team is already in trouble. So that that's really a wild card there in goal. Um, he can be such a good goaltender. When Mike Smith is on, he is on, and he can be such a good goaltender. But he struggles with injuries every single year, and it's so frustrating. It must be extremely frustrating for Flames fans. Um, Mike, you know, Mike Smith, I think, may be the key to this team season. If he stays healthy and plays well and is an all-star caliber goaltender like he can be, the Flames have a very good chance of being a playoff team. If Mike Smith gets hurt and misses eight weeks, or if he has a bad year, or if he misses you know a couple weeks early but then comes back and isn't really the same, then this team is already digging itself a hole. So goaltending is going to be absolutely key for this team. 
Their defense, I like their defense. Um, Mark Giordano, I think, is a really underrated player, a very, very good player. TJ Brody brings you good offense from the back end. They brought in Noah Hannafin um, in from Carolina. He was a very high first-round draft pick. Things didn't really go the way that everyone hoped in Carolina. He's been moved. Let's see what a new home does for him. Does does he really shine now that he's been moved and is in Calgary, or does he kind of continue on the path that he was on? Hopefully he starts to pick his game up a little bit and, and start to play like the, t- the top you know draft pick that he was. Travis Hamanick. Big physical guy, um, one of the leading fighters on this team. Very tough defensive defenseman on the back end. I'd like to see him have a little bit better year in this year, his second year in Calgary, than he did last year. But uh, he's a player that I like a lot and, and would love to have on my team. And in that number four defense spot, I think that's a good place for him. He's not a top pair defenseman, but if you get him in that second pair, think you just let him play his game let him keep pucks out of his own net play physical um play tough i think he can be a difference maker for this team and then kulak and stone as your third pair is fine with dalton prout is a fine number seven uh another pretty tough guy so um pretty pretty good uh defense core here in calgary then up front, obviously, this is an electric top six. This goal scoring should not be an issue for this team. This is an electric top six. Monahan, Goodrow, and Lindholm as your top line. Unreal. Kachuk, Backlund, and Neal. The, um, I mean, Backlund, I think, is one of the most underrated players in this league. No one really talks about him, but he's really, really good. And then Kachuk and Neal both can be 20 to 25 goal scorers. So uh, I'm, you're fine goal scoring wise up front. Froelich on your third line is a good guy. Um, Derek Ryan coming in from Carolina. Austin Zarnick, I don't know if he's going to play on the third line or if he's going to end up on the fourth line. We'll have to wait and see. But I like him there on that third line to keep this fourth line together because I love this fourth line. Um, they're physical. They're big. Um, th- they can add a little bit of offense, especially... You know, Bennett really hasn't been the offensive producer that, that Calgary has hoped hoped that he would be. But maybe playing with Jankowski, that can help a little bit. And then Hathaway is just all a big, you know, a little ball of energy. He's not a big guy, but he's a big, you know, ton of energy, ton of physicality, um, really tough, willing to fight. And then Bennett has shown good toughness too, especially for a player that when he came into the league wasn't really thought of that way but he's really really been developed his physical side of the game and now that he's playing in a bottom six role he's really focused more on playing tougher and uh he's been he's been pretty good at it so i love this fourth line together i'm not worried about this team at all up front i think they're really really good up front they have the tools. I mean, it's clear when you look at this lineup that they have the tools to be a playoff team. They just need to play to their potential and get good goaltending. If they do that, this is a very good team. If they have problems in goal like they have in the past, that's when problems start to arise. When guys have bad seasons, that's when problems start to arise. So Calgary, I think, is going to be one of the most interesting teams to watch this season, much like the Los Angeles Kings. Um, because they, there's really so much potential to go either way with this team. But if they have a bad season, it could go real, real bad. If they have a really good season, though, this is a team to watch that could make a run in the playoffs. So keep an eye on Calgary this year. I really don't know what to expect from them. I think they could go either way. They could be really good or really bad. Um, But clearly when you look at that lineup, the tools are there, the pieces are there for them to be a really good team. So they're going to be a fun team to watch this year, and I know I'm going to be paying close attention to them. Let me know what you think about the Flames down in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching, and talk to you guys soon.